John Quincy Adams gets elected to be a member of Congress. He became the only president to go from the White House back to serve in the House and Congress. There have been some presidents who'd served in the House, served in Congress, and then went on to become president. But no president had gone from the White House to serve back in Congress in the House except John Quincy Adams. Well, why did he do it? He thought there was a great evil that needed to be remedied in our nation, and the evil was the evils of slavery. He was a very strong anti-slavery guy. In fact, he became the leader of the anti-slavery movement in the House. He fought for year after year after year trying to, to get slavery ended because his life motto was, the duty is ours and the results are God's. For him, it was very easy. The reason I do this is because it's the right thing to do, but it's up to God what happens after that. But one of the cool things is his very last year in office, his last term, there was a young freshman who was elected. And the young freshman who was elected actually joins on, becomes part of the anti-slavery movement, is so impressed. Well, the young freshman was Abraham Lincoln. He actually has a part and instilling this anti-slavery value in Abraham Lincoln, the guy that ends slavery in America, John Quincy Adams never saw slavery ended, but he had a part in helping train the guy that ended it. But this goes back to his life motto that he believed it's our job to do the right thing, but it's up to God what happens after that.